Hey guys, Raven here, and I want to talk to you about RAM, especially RAM for the new Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 series chips. The reason why I want to talk about this is because I'm building a system myself, and I made the mistake of buying these that I now got to return. Each one of these is like $350. I paid $700 for RAM. This is a 64 GB set of RGB G-Skill 4000 megahertz uh, RAM. And it's not even Neo. By the way, G-Skill sells two types of Trident Z. They sell Trident Z Regular, which is for um, Intel XMP profiles, and they also sell AXMP for AMD, and that's what the Neo means. So I was going to manually do the timings and settings on my motherboard and stuff like that, but I've heard a couple of things, and I read up on a couple of things that makes me realize that I should return this and buy not only slower RAM, but RAM with better timings. And I want to talk about how that really impacts everything that you see. So I'm going to put these down and just go into the information that I know. And now traditional thinking is that dual channel of the same capacity is going to be higher than quad channel. But for Ryzen 5000, this is actually not the case. Quad channel, four sticks of this stuff, right, is going to be faster than two sticks. and the performance boost that you see is actually massive. It is a 10% a gain in performance, right? 10% free. And all you have to do is buy more sticks, not more capacity, just, you know, four by eight instead of 16 by two for 32 GB of RAM. That's all you gotta do. So I should probably return these and get different RAM in general. So that being said, let's talk about um, the other main aspect of Ryzen RAM, which is latency, right? Latency is all about your timings. You would have a CL14 timing, which is, I think, probably the fastest that you can buy and what I'm going to be purchasing. So you might see that this RAM is clocked at 4,000 megahertz and the CL14 RAM is going to be clocked at 32 uh, megahertz or 32,000. 3,200 megahertz, there we go, compared to 4,000. The timings actually matter just as much. This RAM right here is a CL18 versus CL14. The lower your CAS latency, the faster that your RAM is actually going to do the hit and data transfer back. But I do know that the two big things that go into RAM performance is basically the speed, how many megahertz you're getting, in this case, 4,000, and then your uh, cast latency, which is going to be 18 for this particular stick. Now, even though I'm dropping it by 3200 or dropping down to 3200 on the sticks that I'm going to be buying, the CL14 is actually four lower. So what do I mean by four lower? Well, CL goes from 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, goes in increments of two, right? So dropping from 18, at, I'm at 18, 16, 14. That's a little bit of a drop. Whereas um, your megahertz, they go from 3200 to typically, like I've seen, 34, then 3600, 38, 33, something like that, 4000. So they kind of go in increments of either 200 or 1000, not 1000, 166 megahertz. And, um, you know, based on gamers nexus data that i've been looking at 3200 cl14 actually performs just as well if not better than 38 30 38 33 megahertz ram or 4000 megahertz ram you can't get higher ram speeds without losing some of your cl um timings there the timings typically go up so the fastest C14 that you might be able to get on the market today might be in the 3600 range. Please don't quote me on that, but just what I've seen on Newegg and a lot of the websites when I've been buying RAM myself is that you just can't get kits and you don't need to buy kits. You can, you know, you don't need to buy a kit of four. I bought two of the exact same ones and these are two sticks per box. So you don't need to buy a kit of four, but they don't really sell even those two packs higher than 3600 CL14. After that 3600 mark, you really start just looking at CL16 RAM, CL18, maybe even 22. 
the reason why you want to buy the CL14 though is because I told you I paid like $350 per each one of these. Well, don't do that. The CL14 kits that run just as fast because of the reasons I explained are actually only $300 each. So that's a hundred dollar savings compared to whatever I just said. That $300 isn't for one package of this. It's for four sticks guys, four. So you're now saving $400. I think that's a no brainer, right? Even if it's just, you know, if you don't have infinite amounts of money or you don't need to be the fastest be all end all, that $400 is basically, you know, a sl another processor, a better cooler, um, a faster motherboard with more VRMs, just handle everything. So don't waste it all on RAM like me. Return, if you made the mistake, just return it. Do what you gotta do. Um, and the RAM I am buying is just the G-Skill Trident Z Neo that does support that AXMP profile that I told you about. And it's going to be the 3200 megahertz CL14. So I'll link a post or link to it in the description, but that is what I'm going to be using in my next build. Thank you.